Don't be alarmed. Uh, there's nothing wrong, I promise. Uh, guys, welcome to Season 2 of All the Mod 7. Yeah, so the Bond Pack has been updated to 1.18. Uh, actually, 1.18.1, .1, but unfortunately, our old world was not compatible with 1.18, so we had to go ahead and restart. So, if you're new, welcome. Like, we're happy to have you. You know, go ahead and hit that like button, you know, if you like this video, and hit subscribe, because we make silly content like this all the time. But uh, yeah, if you guys have seen my other videos on the series, you'll know that we got uh, decently far. Like, we had uh, bees automated and stuff like that, so... Yeah, we unfortunately had to reset, but super special thanks to the sponsor of this server, guys. MC Pro Hosting, use code Turtle Club down in the description in the description to get to fifteen percent off your first month. Pretty cool. But yeah, this is our little humble home. We have no roof because uh, we don't like roofs because uh, we you know blew the roof off the this place or something silly like that. But yeah. So what's new about 1.18? Well, caves are a bit interesting. You know, it, it essentially modded Minecraft has caught up with normal Minecraft. Like, because this mod pack, now don't get me wrong, this mod pack's been out for a while and it's taken me about two weeks to get this video because like every freaking day I've had to update the mod pack when I'm coming, going to like record and they've already got a new update for it, you know, fixing some bugs and things like that. So we've had to wait for 1.18.1 to come out and that's what we're on now. So yeah, but... Uh, What's different? So, uh, what's different about this than the first season? Well, uh, we're in a different spot, obviously. Uh, we also uh, have less mods. At one point, Create was added into this and then removed. I think they're still waiting for that to kind of be smoothed out. But we do have uh, Applied Energistics. So, there's a bit of the automation there that we can do. Obviously, we have the Productive Bees here. Uh, but I'm looking for thing something specific. Uh, I believe, yes, so we still have the Tom Simple Storage, now we're going to be using that towards the beginning, uh, now we're not going to be doing it in the first episode, again, we're actually going to be trying to get some bee collections going, and possibly even get a backpack, uh, because there are some really good backpacks, and we're going to be, you know, trying to explore uh, into the, the deep dark up down below there below us and we're going to need to go ahead and uh, you know get some more storage because simply having this much inventory isn't going to really cut it unfortunately so uh let's see about you know getting that backpack first the, the words are hard i don't know what i'm trying to say hello goodbye i don't know what what the heck okay so the backpack we want is the backpack from sophisticated backpacks you know you have to hold your pinky up when you use this uh, but we need to go ahead and get four leather so hopefully we can kill four cows and not have to kill any more because I'd like to get a farm going eventually. But let's go ahead and see if we can do this. And then we also need some string. I don't know how to get string other than killing spiders currently. Um, we don't have a way to process like, ooh, we got two from that guy. We don't have a way to process wool into string. I don't actually know if there's a method in this mod, but we'll have to look at that in a second. What die? Oh. All right, so we got some decent food coming in, but there goes two cows and two leather. We are doing okay. There's a lot of raccoons in there. Where are you cows? Come out of hiding so I can slaughter you. I promise it will be gentle. All right, there he is. Let us kill him. He gave us leather. Okay, we just need a one more. One more cow. There he is. We will just... Well, he's running. He's on the run. Come back here. Bird. What did... Did you take my meat? Hey, come back here. <gasps> he stole it. What a frick. He's a, oh my goodness. He's a carnivore. That's crazy. Cool thing is we got a beehive right there. So we can set up the automation of uh, the things. Hopefully the bees are still in there. I have done AFK here for him. All right. So we have the required leather for this guy now. All we need is the string. Flax. Yeah, oh, if you kill a cat. Oh, spider, big spider, the strider. I forgot about that. Well, you need string in order to make this, so that doesn't help us. But what about some... F oh, that's nightshade. What about some flax? Can we get flax? Hmm, let's see. Does it give us the cool-looking one? That's not it. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, so I don't think we're unfortunately going to be able to find any flax here soon. It looks like we have two bees. The good thing about having the two bees is that we 
can breed them to get a third. Hello, Mr. B. Mr. B. What? What? All right. So now we get a baby bee. <clears throat> Very cool, baby bee. How are you doing, you little bee? All right. So now we have three bees over here. And once it becomes nighttime, we'll go ahead and trap them in there. So they can escape. And they can be our... Uh, um, friends. That's that's the word I was looking for. But now I'm out of food, so we're walking. Oh, good. It's becoming evening, so that means the spiders will be out soon, and we can slaughter them. This would be good. Oh, we can't eat chili peppers. Why would you not be able to do that in real life? That doesn't make any sense. I eat them all the time. I'm just kidding. I don't. Okay, we've got the guys spawning in. I think the little bee is escaping. Unfortunately, uh, he got away. But anyway, we are looking for spoders. Spoder, 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 spoder. There's a lot of cows over there. Holy heck. Okay, we've got two spiders over here. Perfect. Okay. Well, shoot. That's all we needed. <laughs> that was pretty great. Uh, I also went ahead and trapped the bees in there. Just put a block on the front. I'm pretty sure they can't escape if you put that there. So, Good. Now we have everything we need to go ahead and create the backpack. I'm clapping in real life. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Okay, so now that we are awake, we just need uh, some wood. There we go. Okay. And we just make a simple chesticle like so. And bam, we have the backpack. Beautiful. Now, is there a way to like upgrade this? Or Oh, yes, you can. So the iron backpack. All right, backpack, 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 backpack. Yeah. So we put this in here like a show and go around town. So that should give us, yes, even more storage. Now you surround it with gold, right? And then you surround this with diamonds. And then you, oh, combine it with netherite to get another netherite backpack. Perfect. So we have the iron backpack at our disposal. We're going to go ahead and put a waystone out here. Uh, oh, creeper. Let's kill him. <laughs> Die, potato. All right, we got the crit and you're dead. Booyah. Cool beans. So, uh, let's go ahead and we will put this. We will put this in this area. Um, okay. So, right here, call it Turtles. Put Turtles Place. Wait, we need, we need comma here. There we go. Turtles Place. Bam. So, now if we go like this, we can go all the way to spawn. This is spawn, everyone. Look, it's beautiful. Look at it. You love it. You love it. You want to join the server. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm way, way over there. Not really too far, but about 600, 700 blocks that way. Uh, so, pretty good. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, but now that we've got the backpack, what do we need? What do we need in our life? What we need... Um we have a friend. Hello, Mr. Wandering Trader. How do you do? Uh, you do pretty bad. You might... <clears throat> <coughs> Dang. Nice llamas you have. It'd be a shame if you didn't have llamas anymore. Uh, how how will one do this? He will swim. I don't know. I, he stays alive for now, I guess. <laughs> but yes, we have this amazing backpack. Uh, I need to turn the other iron into gear because uh, yeah, fighting skeletons in a big cave is actually very terrifying. <laughs> I've done it before. That might be why that's there, the death marker. But, you know, everything's easier now because we have the backpack. The backpack, the backpack, the backpack. All right, so with the entire suit of iron armor, we are feeling spicy. So we can come over here. We're going to make another pickaxe, and then I'm going to go ahead... And make one of these iron swords, and then we're going to make another pickaxe. But this one we will leave here just in case, and that will allow us to get back. We're also going to go ahead and create some more chesticles to store things. That's not great. What is this? Too dumb to get in. Okay. Hey, I like it. It's like a hobbit hole, kind of. <laughs> Okay, if we're going to do any decent caving, we're definitely going to need to have a like a stable food source. Now, I believe these aren't a bad idea to kind of get into with the pumpkins because we can you know, grow them pretty quickly. 
and you know it'll be good but uh yeah i'm done caving for today almost died there really didn't get to use the backpack but that this oh man guys so there's been a massive update since the last recording uh we were on version 2.0 and we're on version 2.5 now for all the mod 7 and guys we have the create mod we have silent gear mystical agriculture even refined storage check this out refined storage is here so, like, we have so many different storage options now. Mystical agriculture. Oh, my gosh. And then we're paired it up with, like, we can harvest it automatically. Uh, let's see if we still have it. <gasps> we don't. They removed it. Um, okay, but we can still automate it with probably Create. By the way, Create's in I don't know if I mentioned that. So, Create's going to be extremely amazing. We're going to be doing a lot with that in this mod pack. Oh, man. So, but I want to... What I want to go ahead and do is create something here really quick. Um, I want to go ahead and have a way so like we can collect the um, the honey from the beehive that we have. So we need a dispenser. Uh, first we need the bow. All right, and then the dispenser. And we're just going to set this up super duper simple. Uh, I've got a bunch of glass here. Actually, let's try it. Let's try this. There we go. Okay, so we got a bunch of glass. Um, so we're gonna make our way over to that guy. Okay, so over here, we're gonna go ahead and put the dispenser right here. We need this pointing up like so. We put the bottles all over this. Uh, we can do that, and then we place the button here. And there we go. So that will take the honey out whenever it's full, uh, and we'll be able to get more of the honey bottles. Very cool. And then, unfortunately, the other thing about the mod pack is I believe they removed, yeah, they removed elemental craft, unfortunately. Um, weather skeleton tweaks. Blazing. Holy heck, Batman. We got to get one of those swords. Dude, you are very loud. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and kill a couple cow or pigs here for some food. Ooh, big lag spike. Um... And then we're going to go around and try to find some bees. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so we've got a total of eight of these bee cages. And now we're going to be going and kind of looking for the basic bees. Now we have had a few of the carpenter bees roaming around. And I don't think we should get those. We did have a reed nest. Um... We're getting a lot of lag spikes. I think I might need to reboot the server after this video. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to hold on to this reed nest, and we're going to see if we can find some more of these guys. I'd like to find a big area of, um, like, gravel or something like that. Here's an applied energistics meteorite. Um, but let's see here. There's also a world issue here. Very snowy on this side. Very not snowy here. As you can see, it kind of just fades away. Boom. Okay, so anyway, we need to locate a big gravel patch because that guy, I believe, is the mason bee or something like that, is by far one of the most important. So I'm going to go ahead and look for him. Um, there's actually, uh, let's see, there should be a way for us to find it. Nest locator. How would? Okay, so this is a little different. Now it requires a note block some gold and iron bars okay that's not very expensive but again we are very early in this mod pack and i don't believe i have enough i've got a couple pieces of gold there yeah i don't even know if i found gold yet well i mean if i have gold I'm... so we're definitely gonna have to do some mining but actually i think getting some gold should be our top priority at this time Okay, let me go mining real quick. We'll get some more gold, a little bit more iron, and then we will be able to complete all of that. Okay, guys. <clears throat> okay, guys, so I understand it's really dark. So here we go. Have some light. Uh, but we have something incredible. I found my first diamond. Um, but it's very spooky. It is cave, and I'm out of torches. And Oh, man. Oh, man. We're way down here. Why negative level 16? Um... Great for mining, you know, iron and stuff like that, which is amazing. It's exactly what we need. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of spooky down here. But this shield has come, has, uh, has come in handy so much. So I am so glad I'll probably never go mining again without a shield. Just because, you know, I'm able to block the shots from the skeletons. Which the skeletons, I mean, are pretty much the worst thing. Um, but, yeah, let's, let's mine it. Just one. Just one diamond. Just one. 
that's okay. We can find more, hopefully. But yeah, I could really use some like coal down here. And I know it doesn't spawn a whole lot down here, so it's kind of lame, but let's deal with this creeper. But yeah, it is extremely, extremely dark down here. So trying to find coal is going to be very difficult if we can even find it at all. Actually, I don't think we can find coal down here. So I'm going around blind. You guys are probably like, I have no idea what is even going on. Me neither. Me neither. It is that dark. But yeah, I just want to bring you in first diamond. Yay. Oh, wait, I think we got our second one here. Yes. Oh, man. Do we get more than one? Ooh, okay. We got a, a pickaxe. Any more? It is very dark. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but we did just get a diamond. I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, we're up to four diamonds now. Still no light. Oh, that's some zinc. All right, so we got everything that we need to go ahead and create that <clears throat> that thingy. Ooh, we got mouse tweaks back. Cool. Oh, I forgot redstone. Cool. Okay. So, um, here we go. A nest locator, a note block. We need a few iron bars and some golden nuggets. And uh, there we go. We have a nest locator. All right, and so what we learned from the last time we used this is you need to select something. So say like this, wood, uh, birch nest. Yeah, we're probably not going to find any birch nest. I don't know if there is one. But uh, oak. Okay, so we're getting closer. Further away. Is it here? Oh, we're okay. We're getting warmer. Getting warmer. Getting warmer. Okay, so it's here. There it is. Cool. Uh, but there's nothing in it. So, unfortunately, that didn't work. But we've got one that's kind of this way. The ones we want are typically not loaded in. Um, all right. Okay, so it's over here. So this tree. Nest is empty. Okay. Um, so we're probably going to get a lot of these empty ones just because, you know, I've been AFK a lot in the area. And so the bees are escaping. So I'm going to need to go to a different, like a spot that we haven't been to. And so we can start getting the bees there. And so I'll, I'll come back with a list of the bees that we need to go ahead and collect and see if we can get, uh, like, 80% of those or something like that. Because we'll have to go into the nether for a couple, and we're not going to be able to do that just yet. Okay, guys. So these are the different bees that we're going to have to go ahead and uh, get. Like glowing bees from glowstone, chocolate mining bee. This guy can be found in like dirt or... Uh, gravel nests. We're going to be looking a lot for gravel nests as well. Uh, magmatic bee. This guy is important for getting obsidian in a blazing bee. Uh, this guy gives us the blazing combs, which we can get blaze powder from, which is very important because uh, we want to do a lot with potions eventually. Um, then we have the sweat bee, which I'm just finding out about, but that's in snow. Uh, ashy mining bee is probably our most important. That's, again, in gravel. Uh, crystalline bee, uh, we'll probably get this off camera next episode, between next episode, because this is in the nether and they're very difficult to find them. Digger bee, also very important, also found in gravel ones. And this one is important for getting us a quarry bee, which... Um, Why do we, I don't know. I don't know why we need the quarry bee, but uh, yeah, I think it's important. The mason bee obviously is probably our most important. It's blue, uh, and this guy will get us gold uh, and silver. Um, so yeah, so glowing bee, um, crystalline bee, and then mason bee, and then we can really start getting into stuff. So we're gonna be going around, and I found out how this thing works. So if you look at it, when we're looking at it, it lights up all the way, telling us which direction it's in. And so that's what it was. It was it was still on the previous one, um, the previous nest. So I'm gonna need to go do some exploring. Okay. 
All right, so we've got a guy with a trident. Oh, it's a kid with a trident. Oh my goodness, I just about died. That's a mine colony village, by the way. Oh, that's a normal village. Oh, iron gear. I thought it was good. The reason why we're over here is because uh, this is a good spot for a gravel nest. Oh, jeez Louise, you guys are loud. But this is actually just a stony shore, not a gravel beach like I thought it was. No, I'm having so many difficulties finding bees. Like, I find some that have never been generated before, but there's no bees in them. So, I'm almost wondering if I will need to... Um... Jeez, Louise. I'm almost wondering if I'll need to go ahead and um, just like try to spawn them in with the, the treats and all that. Just grab a bunch of the normal bees. Because I found quite a few of the Minecraft bees, uh, the vanilla ones. I found quite a few of those, so I might just need to you know, snag those guys and um, just you know get all the treats I can and breed them up. So that might not be the, the worst idea in the world. But I am loving these bricks. Now, I don't like the smaller ones on the ground, but I like these big ones. Um, yeah, let's go over here. What, the, what is this? Dang, we have another village over here. So that's three in a row. So we have the mine colony one, the normal one, and now this one. Yeah, that's pretty flippin' neato. Go ahead. Daraka says, is. That's, I'm sure that's how you say it. Yeah, okay, so we have access to villagers. Very cool. Okay. Okay, so still got a stony beach. We got some more gravel over here. Maybe we got one? Nope. Nope, this is a stony, a stony shore again. Only for the stoners. Dang. All right, well, I guess maybe... Maybe we'll just have to, you know, grab a bunch of those uh, normal bees and try to... Try to get him to come out. I mean, I guess that, that might be the only way to do it. So, like, I can't even find, like, a, a gravel one. So we might have to get... Might have to get serious. Though we can make the dirt one, and they do spawn in the dirt. And these guys are loud. What have we got? Another village. That's four in a row. Holy crap, dudes. That looks really wonky. But it, oh, oh! These are the sandy ones. The beige... Oh, I love these bricks. They look so good in paired up with like stone, uh, sandstone. But yeah, this is a mine colony village. Very cool. Builder's hut. No colony was founded. Okay, that's kind of a lame basement you got there. Totally being judgmental. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, a little bit of lag. Oh, I love the look of this house. This is good soup. This is very good soup. I'll take this. We do this. Ooh, yes. We make it the bread. Perfect. Framed paper extra. Okay, we got a bed here. Yes, I can sleep. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and head on back. And I guess we'll just uh, focus on getting the the stuff. We yeah might have to go around and steal some some bees or something like that. How is he still here? I turned off Inferior Mobs. I deleted that mod. Anywho, we'll go ahead and put the thing in here. Okay, so my idea is we set up a few of these guys. Uh, these guys right here, because we do have the dispenser, and there is honey, so what we can go ahead and do is take all of these out, and if we go, where did my shears go? There they are. If we click this, it will give us three of those. So we can go ahead and get a couple more of these, go and steal those bees, bring them back to us, and we'll have a successful bee thing. But I'm going to do a lot of that off camera, so I don't have to bore you guys with it. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for joining today. Guys, we did a lot 
We got our backpack. We got some other stuff going. We updated to the latest version. It's crazy. I hope you guys all consider joining the server. It would be nice to have you. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Peace out.